Hey guys, it's uh, your boy Mr. Feast here. Uh, today we're gonna be beating um, Oregon Trail by only uh, ever eating bacon. Hey, listen to that music. Uh, the premise of the game here is uh, pretty simple. We make our party. We're the leader of this shindig, so obviously we're a captain. Now, my ID might say Greenhorn, but uh, we don't need to show anybody that. We're in charge here for some reason. Jesus, why would they give children this much control over people's lives? But now you can bring up to five other people with you on the trail, so naturally we're taking along Snap, Crackle, and Pop. Uh, there's so many options to pick from for what your profession is. I'm just gonna go with Baker, since that's... Cereal is baked, right? Now, I'm not sure why I'm picking the large farm wagon, since I'm only going to be buying bacon. But that's also a thousand extra pounds of bacon that we can carry, so I'm not really seeing the problem here. Now normally you'd go around town and- The merchants here and- Holy- Why is that so loud? Hello? Get away from me, you weirdo! Uh, now normally you'd go around town and buy all sorts of medical supplies Please. and cooking utensils and things. But we really only have one strategy here, and that is to buy all the bacon that we possibly can at all times. Bacon and horses. Uh, and this man's got 808 pounds of bacon. Okay, some horses. And that's it. Bacon and horses, no clothing, and let's get the fuck out of here. Alright, we're five miles out of town, no fruit, no vegetables, but morale is still high. Oh, we are so screwed. Uh, I'm not sure why nobody has noticed that a naked man and his three naked sons are leading their wagon train with 800 pounds of bacon, but I'm not going to question it. Okay, this is our first decision. Uh, oh, immediate bacon loss. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're down to about 700 pounds of bacon. This is, seems like as good a time as any to celebrate the 4th of July while we still can, huh? <laughs> oh my god, why is it so loud? Okay, same strategy. I'm not really sure why I was expecting a different result. And that's another hit to the bacon reserves. Oh, another river. Oh, and this one looks mighty treacherous, don't you know? And we're across with no issue. Okay, the difficult river is no problem, but we almost drowned in the river five miles out of town. Okay. Oh, Jesus, a fire. Oh, I better just keep moving. Everybody knows the best thing to do when there's a fire is to run right through it. Not coming back, Chief. Go, go! Uh, I don't want to say this is going to be an easy challenge, but we have already traveled about a sixth of the way, and we are all in great health. Even though we've had literally nothing to eat but bacon for over two weeks. Oh, yikes. Well, it wasn't that much bacon. Okay. So we're just gonna stock up on a little bit more bacon at the trading post, and uh, head over to the next river crossing. Okay... Well, Pop has come down with a really bad cold, so we're gonna do the only thing that we as simpler folk know how to do. We're gonna increase his intake of salty foods. Alright, <laughs> look. Now, I'm no quicksand expert, but if I ever came across quicksand in the wild, I'm not sure my first instinct would be to throw the weaker animal at it first. <laughs> That's just savage. Maybe I'm wrong here, but we're gonna do it anyway. Just for the sick pleasure- Oh shit, it worked. Well, we've made it about 930 miles so far, and Snap has come down with an unknown ailment. There's not much else we can do besides funnel more bacon into his system. Uh, so we have to keep on moving and just hope for the best. Oh, thank God, there's a fort in the distance. Oh my God, they're having a banger in here. Who else is around here? Howdy. Howdy. Hello. Bonjour. Oh. Bonjour. Bonjour, mon chéri. Wait a minute. Fill my cup, put some nigga in it. What? Just let me finish writing this in I my diary. I talk to you anyway. Wait a minute. Just let me finish writing. This woman wants a horse for her blanket. That better be, that better be one goddamn hell of a blanket. Holy crap. Yes, I'll take that blanket for one horse, thank you. No, no, I don't- I don't need any money, I'll, I'll just take the blanket. Dear Pa, It's been two months now without fruit or veg, or pants. And while the western breeze feels mighty fine betwixt my knees, the other wagon leaders are still laughing at me. Snap started bleeding from his teeth last night, so we pulled most of them out, buried them at this place up and called the City of Rocks. You know, on account of all the rocks being there. The wagon fell over again last night. We lost most of the bacon. Please, Pa, if you get this letter, just remember me as the man that dreamed of building that fish ladder we talked about. But we're a good deal of the way to the end of the trail now. Even though Snap has a sprained ankle, so far we're actually doing pretty well, all things considered. 
you know, since we haven't eaten fruits or vegetables in three months. You know, you feel bad for Snap, but everybody else is feeling... Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah, oh, loosening and loss of teeth. Ah, oh, I don't know why that one gets me, but oh, God. Here, just have some more bacon. Okay, well, we tried. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, some more bacon. Oh, God. Oh, we're falling apart. Oh, Crackle. Look at that. He's so, he's so sick it doesn't even fit on the window. There's so, there's so much death. Well, we'll just have to deal with the no teeth thing. Just, just mush up some bacon like a smoothie. Ah, oh, and there goes Snap. And, well, at least we can give him a proper burial. Oh, no. He died, he died during the funeral. Well, with just Captain Crunch left, we have no choice but to keep on moving. Now, we've already gone over 1,500 miles. We're so close to the end of this. Hopefully, there's a dentist in Oregon, or we're going to be drinking bacon through a straw for the rest of our lives. Oh, God. Now is not the time. Well, with a broken wagon wheel... I, I think I'll try to see if anyone's around to trade for a replacement. Oh, my God. What are these people doing? She wants it... She wants an entire horse for a piece of wood? Look at her. She doesn't give two fucks either. Ah, she's like, your horse or your life. What's it gonna be, Cap? You're in my party. What is wrong with you? I'm bleeding from the mouth. Okay, we're making good progress. Still even down one horse. We just have to cross the 40 mile desert and we'll be home free. I mean, look at that lizard. It's just watching me. Oh. Oh. Come on! He's feeling good. He got over it. He got over the scurvy. Come on. Holy sh- Holy shit. How much money do I have? Do I have enough money? Holy shit. We're in a blizzard, boys. The snow's falling so fast, we can't see where we're going. Shut up. Press on! It's right there! No! It's okay. Eat more bacon. Continue rafting! Yeah! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you, you stupid fucking stupid gay! You stupid, stupid fucking game! You stupid! You stupid fucking idiot!